Lines Privateer FX. Coming at you 26 October. Pretty eventful Asian session here. Aussie got hammered. It's kind of annoying. We waited for this all day yesterday. All day. Da 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 da. Wait, 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 wait. All the way up to 99. Wait, 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 wait. And then it goes at 5 a.m. Swiss time. Shame. My own fault, though. I should have had some orders in in Asia. Anyway, it's broken. Uh, we're continued risk off, as you can all see, as you all know. Aussies is sell rally today. Dollar yen is stubbornly, stubbornly waiting to collapse, but this fucker's going. Um, this you can probably sell up into this 28 area. Um, you can add to it through 81. Uh, this will be kind of the ding dong moment. Probably happen uh, late in New York, the way things have been trading recently. Opens it up to 60, and then through 60, we head for 110. Aussie yen obviously broke 79 the figure. We have this one last low here at 78. 68. So, we figure it might have a small bounce there first time, 78, 70. But then, um, Feel free just to smash it through there. Once you're through 7870, it's kind of, you know, skyrockets in the night, afternoon, delight. Uh, Aussie yen may take, may take some time as well. This, this, because there's a move to dollars, this dollar yen has been stubborn on its way down. Obviously, Aussie Yen yesterday was incredibly stubborn. Went all the way up to 81. Closed at 60. Equities are going to make new lows today. Where are these fuckers? Uh, traded up to 27, 23 at the close yesterday, and then the sort of the opening hour after 10 p.m. Wham! Down to 78. On its knees. TKO, classic, big squeeze all day yesterday, pissing people off, and as soon as people throw in the towel, it just hammers left. I think it's going to be pretty straightforward today, through 2650, uh, there will be a wave of selling, um, so be ready for that. Core short equities uh, still remains remains the trade. Dollars are post-budget. Not looking too good for uh, the RAND. You can just stay core long this thing. You don't want to add on high ones like yesterday. You want to add on low ones. So today, try and, try and buy some sort of 58, 55 area. Uh, sterling yen crippled. Shit's going lower as well. It's a one-way street to to nowhere, to Newcastle. No offense, Newcastle. Cad Yen, same story. Cad Yen's a little bit more delayed. And we do have the 200-day, some, for some odd reason, um, still to break through. So CAD Yen's lagging, I guess you could say, of all the Yen crosses. Something to consider. I guess you can understand it because Bank of Canada just raised rates, but 85.40 was interesting. CAD Yen, we're already down almost half a percent, but it's going to be one of those days where uh, things are going to get, things are going to get silly today. So, buckle up, put your goggles on, tin hats on, tin foil hats as they say somewhere in the world. Going to be a wild one today, uh, risk off, set to continue. I got to get uh, get set up here people. Good luck out there, I will uh, 
and a good weekend once it's all over today. I'll catch you guys on Monday and on Twitter.